okay guys uh, i welcome you to our channel note tech on two with uh, our new video on a python and in this video it's about keywords errors and a short quiz uh, regarding uh, native data types so in keyword section we see a list of uh, keywords which are used uh, in python we have used some of the words earlier in our videos and uh, you can cross check and uh, see that how they are used in programming or in coding so this uh, list will help you uh, to use or complete the program uh, when uh, you want to have a specific result uh, to be shown in console so it all depends upon that case it all depends upon the result that you want to have on your project so you can uh, we will definitely going to look uh, how we will going to use uh, some of the remaining keywords uh, that we haven't used uh, so far so it will help you uh, to uh, get uh, and grasp a solid understanding on keywords so you can uh, have uh, uh, the idea of that so but right now we're going to move towards our second section on errors which uh, we're going to run uh, some of uh, the short programs so let's see what is all about on that section thank you very much okay uh, in this section we're going uh, to show you how we solve errors uh, like syntax errors and also the exception errors in python so let's solve some of the examples that will help us to understand what are the syntax errors and what are the exception errors for example uh, exam i just want to have hassan is equal to input that what's your favorite number okay i'll just put it another line and giving it an int or integer value and putting another code printing out print person and when i'm going to do it i'll show it I displaying it on the result what's your favorite number when I insert it as 20 it will show as 20 by converting it into an integer value so that's not a problem but when I have uh, for example Hasric I just want it again uh, Hasric what it show it shows me an, uh, an error which is a value error meaning that uh, the string is not uh, been converted over uh, to an integer so that's why we have to uh, sort out this uh, such type of an error or such uh, this uh, this error especially uh, value error uh, or we call uh, such errors in generally as an exception errors so when uh, we put uh, actually a mistake or we have uh, we have uh, we have done some sort of a mistake in the coding or that is called the syntax error it is not related uh, to any other error because if i just put it up i have put a space like this in in and put and in between i just put a space when i'm going to run the program it will show me the syntax error invalid syntax the problem is in the syntax not in any other uh, another part of the program so that's why we have to check it like this it's a syntax error when we have done a mistake in the programming in the coding of uh, our project so when I've done with it it will just going to resolve it by saying what's your favorite number 
So let's uh, do a small bit of the, the uh, program that will help us to understand what's the exception error are. So I will show while just using my uh, example while true try number is equal to same as earlier input what's your favorite number and that would be uh, rent 18 divided by that number okay and uh, when I'm going to run it it will not going to run right now it has because it will break and accept now I have to resolve that value error problem and print enter another number okay so when I'm going to run this program is it asked me what's your favorite number so I put it like uh, six shows me three so the, uh, the, the my, my try condition is absolutely okay at this point of time there's no such problem but when I'm going to enter running it again Hasrick for example it will show me what's your favorite number so uh, enter another number and uh, then uh, asking me what's your favorite number I put it again as as Rick is you one so that asked me enter another number person enter another number triq enter another number when it uh, when I just put it like three it will show me six so that's the correct result so it means that the program uh, has uh, solved the problem and the error which is an exception error by uh, using exit as an keyword and value error is uh, the error when it's not being converted over to an integer when the string is not being converted over so at that time it it means that we have uh, doing uh, it all good but we have a, in case we are using neither uh, a string such as any text or neither uh, a number which is not zero but when we're going to use zero for example what's your favorite number I put it as zero is my favorite number it shows me a zero division error so that's another error that pops up on the console so how to solve that it's an also an exception error so I just put it at Except zero division error print don't use a zero, please. Okay. And uh, I'll just end up here and when I'm going to run it when I'm going to put it zero it will show me don't use a zero please so I can also use just a keyword except breaking it out okay and it will also shows me that six it means uh, it is not recommended to use except because it will hide some of uh, the source errors which are actually in uh, in the program it will just run like this that it uh, when a user put in any value 
uh, or tr uh, use the try condition in the program and in this example sp specifically so what would be the result if it's true then it's uh, the result would run and break and uh, when it's not true it will uh, try the second condition the accept condition at value error when it uh, stands true at that point uh, it will just break and uh, and moves towards the another in case of uh, false and uh, using a zero division error but it will not show you the source co uh, source error so that's why it's not recommended to use just the keyword except but we can use finally 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 means it needs to be uh, the programming or coding needs to be done so i just say that errors errors are tested so when i'm going to run it ask me what's your favorite number in case of six i put it errors are tested this is this the finally means whatever the condition we have uh, whatever the conditions we are running earlier in program has nothing to do with it it will uh, run the simple uh, sentence uh, or the text uh, line whatever uh, the result would be on the console so let's see we'll able uh, to So it's uh, it's errors are tested. For example, I run at another program, and uh, in case of zero, don't use a zero, please. Errors are tested. So that means it will just uh, uh, run or show us uh, a final line. And instead of uh, errors are tested, you know, we say that program, or we can say uh, the end. Okay, so let's run it again. What's your favorite number? In case of uh, six, it shows the end. Three is the answer. So that's how you can use uh, or you can rectify the problem of an uh, of an error whenever there is, there is such problem in, in a program by using the keywords accept, using the keyword uh, try or while, by just checking it as a condition or looping it. And uh, it's all about uh, correcting the syntax errors and also about uh, the exception errors. So we move towards uh, our third section of our video, which is about uh, a short quiz. So let's see what this is all about. Thank you very much. at the position minus four so minus four would be minus one starting from the end in uh, n zero h t the remaining would be p n y in quotes so that would be the correct answer suppose a tube tuple test contains five elements how can you set the third element of the tuple to python Choose one, test two is equal to Python, test two is equal to Python, test three is equal to Python. Elements of tuple cannot be changed. That is the correct answer. What is the output of the following program? Print one and two in parentheses plus three and four in parentheses. So the result would be one, two, three, four in parentheses. What is used to concatenate two strings in Python? Choose one. Uh, it is uh, the plus sign operator. That is the correct answer. What is the output of the following program? Names is equal to one, two, and three in braces, and zero in braces. Format is John, Bill, and Sean. In quotes, you have to print the names. So at uh, the position, uh, in the order of 1, 2, and 0, 1 is Bill, 2 is Sean, and 0 is John. So the correct answer is second one.
which of the following statement is true choose one a set is an unordered collection of items elements of set are unique you can change elements of set unlike tuple all of the above so all of the above is the correct answer with what is the output of the following program n is equal to x dot x for x in range 4 print n so you just have to take a square of a range of numbers that is uh, from 0 to 3 okay that make uh, that actually uh, make up a list of uh, uh, numbers uh, in a range of 4 so the answer of taking uh, the square of all the numbers in the list that would be 0, 1, 4, 9 is the correct answer. How can you change num is equal to 1, which is in code is, is uh, colon 1 as in digit, 2 in codes e colon 3 in digit. Okay, so to number 1 is uh, 1 to 2 in 2. So you just have to take number 2 num2 in quotes is equal to the digit 2 so that is the correct answer so the last question asks us what is the output of the following program squares is 101 2 4 3 9 4 16 5 25 print squares pop 4 and print squares so you have to pop the square of 4 that would be 16 that is okay so the, this one has to be correct one and squares afterward so one one two four three nine five twenty five is the uh, is is the uh, is the correct one because uh, the square of four which is of in 16 is already been popped up and has been shown in the console early on so the remaining numbers would be squares of one one two four three nine and five nine five twenty five that would be the correct answer so let's see what would what is the result that we have so we have scored 90 percent so the correct answer that we failed to attempt is just the first one it is the test four okay which is and without any quotes you have to keep in mind it's without any quotes the numbers uh, are not given the string as such value it is just the position so you have to keep in mind it is without any quotes so that's only the mistake that we have done so all the remaining uh, questions are uh, dead perfectly well so you just have uh, to uh, see or you can practice by yourself and you can uh, check the result that how uh, you manage well on Python regarding this uh, topic so I'll just end up the video let's see what we have for our coming uh, videos on Python thank you very much take care and have a nice day